says it's a little taste of normalcy. So, Jeremy, pandemic or no pandemic, I feel like that's very similar to what you would do either way for camping, or at least prefer. <laughs> Pretty similar for sure. Virtual camping is my favorite kind of camping. It's an adventure either way, so good for them. They're doing something fun. Uh, the News at 10 starts right now. We've avoided a catastrophe. We've avoided a breach of our health care system. Uh, we've avoided mass loss. Governor Polis easing restrictions in Colorado today, but that doesn't mean you should rush out of your home. Why doctors are warning not to move too quickly. If your county told you you can open up, you're fine. Go ahead and open up. So you were here. Plus, you're not the only ones with conflicting orders. New at 10, we're with business owners as they sort through what's permitted as they begin to open their doors. There is a lot to get to tonight as we try to sort through the confusion. Some orders lifted in certain counties, others still in place. I'm Jeremy Hubbard. And I'm Erica Gonzalez. Want to get right to the latest data just into our newsroom. Numbers just released in the last hour show there are now more than 13,800 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in Colorado. And if you look at this graph showing the date of illness onset, you can see the dramatic drop off in new cases that we're seeing recently. And this graph showing that more than 2,000 people have been hospitalized since this began. But you can see that is flattening out at the very top. And the death toll in Colorado now stands at 706. This graph from the state shows the number of deaths by date, and you can see that number peaked earlier this month. The governor officially lifting some of his orders today, allowing for curbside pickup at retail stores and real estate showings beginning today. Then in-person retail shopping, haircuts, and other personal services may first, with offices going back to work at 50% capacity one week from today. But many business owners say they're getting conflicting orders from their local health, health departments. In Greeley, a barber shop decided to open today after the owner says he got approval from both the county and a state agency, even though the governor's order says differently. Fox 31's Laura Wilson spoke to them and is on it. New at 10. There still seems to be some confusion for business owners in Weld County. I asked a spokesperson for the county whether government officials are allowing non-essential businesses to reopen immediately and wasn't told yes or no. The phone